so Rick, everyone always asks us, like, okay, how did Building on Hope start? And, you know, we can't come up with this 20-minute, you know. Or five-minute. Or, yeah. So, so let's try to tell people how did, you know, how we came up with this idea. Yeah. We were bored. <laughs> yeah. We were not bored. We were a little bored. I was not bored. Maybe you were bored, but I was not bored. No. We came up with the idea at the social fundraiser. Yeah. For, it was for the Palace Theater. Yeah. Me, you, and EJ were right. talking. Right. The economy was not that good at the time. We were talking about the construction industry. Yeah. And we said, and you had mentioned that we were talking about the um, home stream home makeover, how it was, really wasn't that successful, right? Or Well, we just knew that people were not always pleased when it was done. And it, also, it seemed like a great idea in that extreme makeover concept but we needed to make it to where at the end everybody felt good right and that's pretty much when when Jonathan Holly came to mind because he was one of the um, one of the uh, people who was involved with the last extreme makeover project he was one of the signatories one of the people who, whose name wound up on television right and he knew that a lot of his co-workers were disappointed that they hadn't gotten that and that also in the end all that came of it was one family got a, a great gift and so he really responded to this idea of what if we could make a lot of people uh, we could benefit a lot of people with us with an act like that it gives the opportunity for the kids to like flourish and in, in better ways and give them more independent living skills um, and just a, a more of a peaceful atmosphere to live in uh, it, it just gives them that uh, more of a home-like feel and uh, we can work more one-on-one -on -one with them in a nice facility here now that Building on Hope revamped this 10 years ago. Most things are still intact, like even the coffee table is still intact with all the quotes on it. Um, the paint still all is the same colors, a little touch-ups every now and again, but um, all, yeah, like everything is intact. The kitchen's looking great. Um, we're, we do a good job trying to keep up with everything that Building on Hope did for us. When I first wished for something from them, I wished for a porch and I got air conditioning and new floors and new furniture and beautiful walls. And the night before we did our reveal, Jonathan was here with us until midnight, hanging the beautiful saints and signs on all the walls. And there's nothing better than when the girls broke through the door and saw this beautiful space. And the 23 years I've been at Girls Inc., it's one of the most memorable days of my life. And I want to thank Building on Hope for the amazing work they do for all the charities in the community. It's made incredible differences in our world here. We, uh, we've been fortunate that we've had the experience of tripling the size of our operation. Uh, we are so grateful and indebted to the, to the Building on Hope uh, project and all it stands for and everything it's done. It's had a major impact on our community and all the hard work uh, certainly has made a major, major difference in the lives of the people that we support that live with disabilities. So. We are so grateful and appreciate everything you've done. When we did the reveal, there was a gentleman who didn't speak very well, but he had he had a um, he had the alphabet, and it was in a it was in a plastic sleeve. But this kid came in and he had tears in his eyes and he was looking around, and and the only way he could communicate was pointing to letters, and he just he looked at me and. He, He's frantically pointing at the letters and, and it spelled out, I love Rocky. <clears throat> and um, everybody there just was in tears and it's just a beautiful, beautiful moment. So um, to be able to give your time and efforts to something so amazing is, is truly a blessing. Uh, we just have so much more to offer in the inner city of Manchester. This is a center, center of the city. A lot of kids have to walk here. Uh, this just gives them a safe haven after school hours and the Building on Hope really just gave these kids some of the best equipment, uh, a, safer, a safer building, just a, a place where these kids come and they feel safe. The, the reveal was absolutely amazing here at the Manchester Police Athletic League. When, when I came in here, um, it was shocking, almost like you were in a dream. Uh, and words really can't describe how impactful the remodel this building was and just how much was actually done in that amount of time. It's been a game changer for us. 
we doubled the capacity at our domestic and sexual violence shelter here in Merrimack County, serving twice the number of victims that we were able to serve before. I can't thank enough the coordination of the, the board and the volunteers of Building on Hope. It really is a project that I've never experienced anything to that, of that magnitude before. Uh, the amount of logistics and coordination that went into totally making over from the outside shingles into the inside plumbing and heating of our, uh, our shelter here in Merrimack County was truly awe-inspiring. We're still planning and dreaming, but that process alone has been so fun in terms of dreaming about what this building can be. What can we bring to the kids, to the youth, in a meaningful way? So I want storage and new paint, and but that's not big enough. We've got to dream about what do we want our teenagers to want and need, and uh, that process has been already pretty empowering, pretty exciting for a team. The magic is that it actually happens and that you can't predict how it will or with who, but people just show up. It's, it's this blind faith that it just will happen. And my favorite part is these totally unknown people who just show up out of nowhere and stay for as long as they're needed. And finish the project with you and then disappear and hopefully in two years you see them again. <laughs> I've met the most awesome, generous people um, and to be around people like that in a project this magnitude is really, really nice. As tired as you get, at the end of the day you feel good about everything that you did and um, when you're around people like that all the time it makes it much easier. And, um, worthwhile. How do we sum up 10 years? 10 years of, of um, I think, doing amazing things that um, clearly I didn't envision when we first started. Um, I think this has turned out to be something absolutely amazing about the people in New Hampshire. Think about all the people we've impacted, the clients of these nonprofits, the staff, we brought on some new board members for some of the nonprofits. It really has, it's been more than just a physical renovation. It's also been helping nonprofits do business better. That's true. We left, I think we've left a staff person, a Building on Hope person, at every project that we've been involved with um, to date. People have been, they've gotten so much out of it. Everyone says they get more out of it than they put into it. Absolutely. Many hands make for light work, and I think um, I do think that it's a true testament to the to the people in New Hampshire, um, the communities that we've impacted, the contractors that have all stepped up and continue to come back, which is absolutely amazing. Um, and it's not just the contractors; it's um, you walk in off the street and it's just one person, and you're there for a day. You make a huge impact, just like somebody that might provide something more than that. I think that um, the biggest thing that you and I and, and the Building on Hope Committee and the whole community um, want to say to the folks sitting here and watching this video or seeing it for the first time is that we're very grateful for you know everybody who steps up and, and makes an impact. And um, we're grateful. We're very happy and um, we look forward to the next project.